Matthews and in this video we are talking about the SOAR Opus 44 number one. This is a great etude. In this video we're going to take a look at it and talk about this course on the SOAR 44 number one. So to begin with, this is a big study in AMI and IMA. So on the right hand, playing the IMA pattern and playing the AMI pattern. And you also get a lot of PIMA and a chance to do that really smoothly as well. The main chords for the left hand of this piece are mainly C and G7. Those are the two main chords within this entire piece. So looking at it, we've got one page here and we just go through. There's this big first section and it goes all the way to right here. And at, that, at the end, we have this exact same section. So this is the same as this. So that's kind of a freebie at the end there that you, that you get that. This second part right here is also very similar. You get some back and forth notes to where you have the bass moving in one way. So you need to connect those as well as the upper line moving as well. So then, so you have to put them together and let them both ring out. So that they both both are moving at the exact same time. Super fun. This big line through here is it's a really it's an interesting line. It's all over the place, and it gives the impression that there are multiple voices going on, like multiple parts of the music, but it's just a single note line of music. So it's very cool writing in that way. And then, like I said, at the at the end you come back to the beginning. If you'd like to dive deeper into this piece, you can take this course on this piece. This is this course on just this piece. And with this, we break the music into small sections. So just these little, uh, just four bars at a time. And we look at it with the right hand, the, uh, the right hand, exactly how to do that. The left hand, how exactly to play that, when to move your fingers, how to place your fingers. And also we look at the dynamics and the and the shaping and how to, okay, are we going to get louder right here and, and get quieter right here? What's going to happen? And then we're going to get louder at the end. How are we going to deal with that? What about, how are we going to handle that note right there? So all of the musical issues, we look at all types of musical issues in there. If you're not so much a music reader, there's also tab available in this course as well. The course itself uses the music notation because it fits on the screen better to look at, but there is tab for both the private, for both the sections, the small sections, and also for the main piece as well. So you have full tab capabilities. You get access to the course. It's a lifetime access and there are 25 or something videos in there and it goes very detailed into every single little nuance of this entire piece and what both hands do. So I hope you enjoy it, have fun with that, and I look forward to seeing you very soon.